So joining me now is Toon Kin. He is the president of the Burmese Rohingya organization here in the UK. And so what can you tell us about attacks on Muslim communities in Myanmar? What are you hearing about it? Well, what we are hearing is uh, until today the situation is not getting better at all. The people are not safe. Uh, they are facing, you know, uh, threatening by the kind community, by security forces in our kind of state today. In other parts of Burma, still the people are not safe. The people are, you know, worried to move from one place to another. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of a system that government have incited it. You know, the thugs are moving around. So particularly what I would like to highlight on Rohingya issue is this is systematic ethnic cleansing to get rid of Rohingya Muslims from Arakan. So you're saying and that currently the, what's happening, yeah. blocking of eight, many women are facing to deliver their babies. And it's been almost one year, there is no talk about 1982 citizenship law amendment and not, not talking about to return their original place. So this is a system to expel the people from their own villages and their towns. I mean, it's keeping them in a camps and camp sending them to the third world country was President Thane saying well, so we were he just proposed hearing, his yes, implementing I mean, that We were plan. just talking about the report by Human Rights Watch, which says that there is clear evidence of government complicity in crimes against humanity against Muslims. Now, obviously, you support that. The government denies these allegations. What can you tell us about the response of the police and the security forces when violence breaks out against Muslim communities or between Buddhists and Muslims? What can you tell us about the way the security forces deal with it? Well, you can see before this violence happened, there was anti-Rohingya campaign was quite stronger in Burma. Before this violence happened, before the attack take place. And then what happened is, I should say, this is a pre-plan and there is no, Rohingyas are not in any any civil society, not police and not government authorities. So just there. to be clear, you're saying that the violence is, it's not spontaneous, it's completely organized, it's completely planned? It's completely planned by Rakhine National Development Party, RNDP, and some government authorities include there. And according to our information from Sitwe and other parts of Arkan, this is a pre-plan, they want to get Rohingyas to the camps. And they are trying, as they have tried in June and second violence in uh, October. And until today, they are not safe at all. They cannot go to the market. They cannot go to the hospital blocking of eight. And many children are dying in the camps. So How then do you feel about the European Union lifting its trade and economic sanctions against Myanmar? Well, I should say it is very shocking for me as, uh, you know, what I can see on the, in the ground today in our kind of state, the people uh, are, you know, n they, do, they don't have even safe and security in their own homeland. And wh as far as what we know, last year in EU resolution, they mentioned that they, they a benchmark that uh, a status of Rohingya and the improving welfare of Rohingya is one of the benchmark. It has not been met yet. Instead, uh, situation get worse and yeah. the president thing saying who is calling reformer by EU countries he proposed ethnic cleansing to get rid of Rohingyas from Arakan and to to send them to the third countries so it is very shocking unfortunately Alton Kin president of the Burmese Rohingya organization here in the UK thank you thank you